Hey. Okay, so today I'm playing uh, Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. Um, for a PlayStation 1 on a really slow, really laggy emulator. But we're gonna see how this happens because I remember being really bad at this game. So let's go with the snow level. Okay, so cease jump. Alright. Come on. There we go. Ha. The music's really laggy too. I don't like music being laggy. Um, so, one thing I like about the Crash Bandicoot games is, even though the animation is super laggy and boxy, and, I mean, it wasn't really that laggy on the PS1, but even though it's really boxy, I don't know, it's just like, I feel like it has more of a, uh, a better looking graphics, I guess? Um, so yeah, um, oh crap, <sighs> it's bad at this PlayStation controls, I'm gonna be even worse with this, meh, <sighs> well, need that, right, okay, so I'm gonna try to, Finish this level in my five minute limit. Since the assignment says five minutes, I'm gonna try to do it. But I probably won't be able to. So. Please don't get mad at me, Professor, if I go over a little bit. I'm trying to give an accurate depiction of the game. No. Stay, 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 stay. Okay. Oh, crap. I've gotten a bit of a gusto, so this is okay. Alright. Alright. Um, so connections that I draw with this game and other games, um, is that it has the whole, um, stereotypical, like, you gotta save the girl storyline. Um, another thing I like about this game that's found in other games is that, is the whole idea that you have to beat a level or a certain amount of levels before you can move on to the next. Like, you have to meet, you have to beat all of the levels on this floor and get, like, a bunch of the crystals and stuff before you can move on to the next floor. So, it's like a skill thing. I'm scared. Okay. Wow. 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 Unfortunate, man. Oh, man. Lost my safety net. Oh crap! I'm too used to the PlayStation 1 controls. I can't do this. Um. Alright. <laughs> this is so unfortunate. Like, I mean, like, I wasn't the greatest at this game, but I wasn't this bad. Oh crap. I can't do this. I'm gonna die. Okay. Oh, thanks, made it. Okay, um. Again, I apologize, Professor. If this runs over. Which it probably will. I'm trying. Um. But yeah, so. Well, crap. I keep pressing the wrong button. <sighs> I'm gonna beat this level. <laughs> I 
So I just die. Did I just get a game over? Oh no, I still got level. I still got lots left. Okay. I mean, it's over. It's gonna be over in five minutes, no matter what. I apologize. Please don't penalize me for this. See, I'm already an angel. You can't penalize me for this, please. Um. <laughs> okay, so, uh, but yeah, Crash Bandicoot was extremely popular. That's why they have, like, seven or eight games in the series. Um, for various consoles. For the most part, they're all PlayStation. For the most part, they're all, like, PlayStation 1 through PlayStation 3. I don't think there was a PlayStation 3 game, actually. Um. No, there might have been. There might have been a PlayStation 3 game. I didn't own it if they did, but. I just really want to beat this level. Oh no! You gotta be kidding me. I think I just died then. I don't think I had another life left, did I? Oh, I had. Okay, there we go. Alright, the real moment of truth, man. Okay. Can I beat this game? With only one life. Probably not. I doubt my... I doubt my abilities. Let it be known that I meant to jump. Let it be known. And then you have the game over aspect. I mean, psh, that's with a bunch of new games. <laughs> but yeah. So enough of that. My experience with Crash Bandicoot 2 or PS2 on a really bad emulator. <laughs>